breaking news. According to my source, the final decision has been sent down to NRS from WB that Mortal Kombat 12 will only be releasing on current gen consoles that's the decision they have decided to make now i made a video on this previously i told you guys that they were heavily considering it well now it has become a decision that they are sticking with now before i continue further with this information i want to let you know that this is insider source information this information has not been publicly confirmed by wb nrs none of its partners affiliates or associates now that we got that out of the way please take this information with a dump truck load of salt let's continue shall we now my source continued on to inform me that this decision was made because sony themselves is deciding to move forward by ending the life cycle of the ps4 now this was already supposed to happen but due to everything going on in the world they extended it just a little bit longer because sales started to pick up times 10 due to everything that was going on and the chip shortage so it was the perfect opportunity for them to pump out more ps4s collect more money and they have made a ton of money off the playstation 5 due to scalpers doing what they're doing and the fact that the ps5 is a hot commodity nobody can find one and they're looking to cash in on it as soon as possible before people just give up and move completely over to xbox and they write ps5 off as impossible to get now they have that demand pent up so they want to have a good roster lineup for the game now i'm told the deal that was made between wb nrs and sony is that they are going to be releasing the game along with its other heavy hitter titles now my source did inform me that major games will be released on the ps5 which is a no-brainer such as grand theft auto 6 and a couple of other massive titles that have already been canceled for ps4 now you already know Gotham Knights was supposed to release on PS4, but Gotham Knights ended up getting pushed back to the PS5 because they wanted to give you the best game experience ever. If they were to put it on PS4, they would have had to take a lot of things out of the game, which makes the game has its own identity and not feel like a repolish or rebranding of a different game. This is the reason why they're jumping to the next uh, system. I should say current gen basically i always say ps5 guys because i'm a ps i'm a playstation guy so yes i mean xbox series x for those of you that need to hear me say it for those of you that don't comprehend well no offense but current gen is xbox series x and it's playstation 5 last gen is ps4 and the xbox one x you can correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong now let's continue to move forward the deal has been made that Mortal Kombat 12 will sell better on the PS5 because Sony is wrapping up its chip shortage. Same thing with Microsoft. They almost got that under control. Once they get these chips available for the public to be shipped out, these games are going to sell like hotcakes. They're going to sell like hotcakes. And in order for a game to be a great console, it is only as good as the lineup of games that it has so next gen is going oh i should say current gen is going to have grand theft auto 6 it's going to have mortal kombat 12 if i'm not mistaken there's another last of us game you can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong and it's going to have other massive titles such as gotham knights you know that's going to be released on that system also as well as the injustice game which is currently being developed now i'm going to speak on that in an entirely different video we talking about mk12 here so all of the stars align line correctly that gives you all the indication that this game is only going to end up on current gen consoles and i'm still getting used to saying current gen because it still just feels like next gen can you believe it's been several years since the ps4 came out i believe it was like 2013 correct me in the comments put the year that the playstation for an xbox uh one came out correct me in the comment guys i know it's been a very very long time but yeah sony and microsoft are looking to move completely forward they're looking to bring this next gen into current gen even though it is current gen it just still feels like next gen because everybody don't have one if that make any type of sense at all 
All right, so back to my source. So my source just kind of gave me the rundown saying that, hey, the companies are already deciding to wrap up production for their current system. So if the company is telling you that they're wrapping up production for their system, wouldn't you too want to hop on the next generation, especially if the company is going to allow it and they're going to support you fully because they know that your game is going to bring more sales to their projects? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to happen, right? So that's the reason why this decision is being made. Now that we got past that, let's move on to the next thing. The next thing I want to move on here to is the fact that they are working out a Mortal Kombat 12 bundle deal. Now, this bundle deal will come with an Xbox and this one is going to come with a PlayStation. So for those of you who can't comprehend well, what I'm saying is when you buy a PS5, it will come with the Mortal Kombat 12 video game as a package deal. Same thing with Xbox. So that's what they're going to do to move units. Now, Grand Theft Auto already has something like that in store. I'll speak on that in its own video. So you want to stay tuned for that because I will be bringing back the Grand Theft Auto series with some new information now that I finally have gotten some. Okay, so this bundle pack is going to include, of course, Mortal Kombat 12, but it's also going to include a pre-order code, meaning that you will be able to get that pre-order character. Now, I'm told that character is going to be the Great Kong Lao, but it is subject to change between the Great Kong Lao, Havoc, Onaga, and Motaro. Those are the names that I'm hearing for pre-order, but the Great Kong Lao look like it's going to stick. So I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comments section below. Question number one, do you think the Great Kong Lao is a great character for DLC? Is it like, is he a great character for pre-order bonus, I should say? Well, technically he's still DLC, but you get exactly what I'm saying. So now that I gave you guys the source information, I'm going to start doing something new here on the channel also. I'm going to be using circumstantial evidence to make sure that you guys can understand what's going on in the official world and what's going on in the unofficial world. So I want you to stay tuned a little bit longer. I'm going to pull an article up on your screen from Sony and we're going to break that article down and we're going to uh, I'm basically going to show you proof that Sony is going to be ending production for the PlayStation and that's going to be happening fairly soon once they're able to get this uh this chip shortage thing under control which they are currently working on and they're working with other individuals to make sure that they can score some games now there are certain games that are coming out on PS4 that's because of contractual obligations so they're fulfilled they have to fulfill those like for example uh, what's the name of that game? God of War Ragnarok or something like that. That game has contractual obligations to release on PS4. So that's why it's still going to be coming out on PS4. But you will get a PS5 version on that also. Now, as far as Mortal Kombat comes, I cannot wait for you guys to check out the graphics and how fast the engine runs. I do have tons more Mortal Kombat videos that are coming. Uh, if you watch it all the way to this end, I mean, to this part of the video, then I'm pretty sure you're probably wondering where the hell the videos were. That's because I was sick, guys. I was sick. I had a lot going on. I know you guys really don't care about my personal life. You come here for the Mortal Kombat videos, and that's cool. I respect that. But I just wanted to let you know why there were not uh, any daily videos at that time. But as you can tell, I'm starting to feel a little better. So we got tons of videos that are going to be coming out. Now, also, another thing that we do need to address we need to address the fact that this game is going to be one of the hardest games to get your hands on what i mean by that is physical copies i'm told that they're looking to do more digital sales than they are looking to do more physical sales you're probably like well what the heck are you talking about but we're going to get into that a little later i'm going to go ahead and pop this article up here on your screen so i can show you the proof that sony themselves is planning on is planning on shutting down production of the playstation and this will coincide with the story that my source gave me earlier so go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna be directly right back with you of course i'm gonna do the voiceover but uh i'll be back with you current me all right so look sony reveals plan to end the ps4 now sony revealed that it's planning to finally wind down the ps4 first released back in 2013 now the ps4 has gone on to become not only 
one of Sony's most successful consoles, but it also became one of the top selling video game platforms ever. Now, despite this, Sony is now looking to sell the PS5 as its primary hardware, which means that the PS4 is naturally coming to an end. Now, thanks to new guidance from Sony, we have an idea of when the PS4 may officially be going away. Outlined in Sony's latest financial presentation, it was made clear that games for PS4 will be gone by the end of 2025. This doesn't mean the legacy PS4 games will no longer be purchasable, but Sony is clearly planning to be done with releasing new titles on the platform by this time instead. By 2025, Sony has projected that the majority of its revenue associated with games will stem from the PlayStation 5. Keep that in mind because we're gonna to touch on that also. Now, with titles on PC and mobile also bringing in other, you know, the other half of its income. Now, as a whole, this obviously shouldn't be surprising given that the PS5 will be Sony's main focus in the years to come. Still, it's worth stressing that at this very moment, the PS4 is a platform that Sony is still manufacturing and releasing games for. In fact, this year's biggest PlayStation game, God of War Ragnar, is still expected to release on PS4 whenever it does arrive. Now, at some point in the coming years, Sony will likely end up making a bigger announcement related to the PS4 and the official end of its life cycle. As we've known, we've now been informed, this announcement should end up coming about before 2025 rolls around so be sure to prepare accordingly now are you sad to see the era of ps4 is clearly coming to a close and when do you think that sony will officially stop manufacturing the console y'all can hop in the comment section on that but we're going to continue this all right so now that we got that established that sony is officially going to be ending the life cycle of the ps4 that has been confirmed that is information you can find publicly but when you take the behind the scenes information that i gave you as far as everything else that we've seen as i mentioned gotham knights getting canceled for ps4 and pushed to ps5 a lot of other companies are starting to do the same thing also that should give you the indication that you need now i do want to say this again for those of you that probably just tuning into the video this information has not been confirmed by nrs by wb or any of its associates when it comes to this mortal kombat 12 information that i'm giving you so take it with a grain of salt for those of you that are confused what i'm doing here is taking information that you're not supposed to have and i'm giving it to you so you can take the behind the scenes information and mix it with the information that's already been confirmed from Sony themselves saying that they're going to uh, end the life cycle and you put that together, you get the full story from there. Now, I do have more videos that I'm going to be bringing you guys, so you wanna stay tuned towards the channel. Also, if you watched this video and you made it all the way to the end, man, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily Mortal Kombat content. Catch you in the next one.